Casey aka Queso and today I'm doing a review of BBC slash Hulu's TV series of Normal People. Review, so I'm sure you probably know the main plot of the show but briefly I will just say that this series follows the lives of Marianne and Connell um, and it's all about their relationship the ups and downs and struggles and the ways in which things going on in both of their lives negatively or positively impacts their relationship a lot of episodes although we always gain something and the plot's always moving and I was always interested um, being that the episodes are only half an hour long um, there isn't tons and tons that happens at every episode that's why I personally preferred watching um, the series just back to back because it does just feel more like a long film then I don't think with it being such short episodes I could have watched like one a week or anything like that because it would just seem disjointed and as much as other things do happen in this series the only thing I feel that ties us to the show and makes the audience want to keep watching is Connell and Marianne's relationship I think if it wasn't for the two actors chemistry that this wouldn't really have worked because if you don't have a strong relationship and good chemistry between those two actors and characters then I don't think this would have been a very good series because I think the thing that makes it good is how believable and relatable the relationship is so anyway let's get down to it let's talk about the elephant in the room that everyone wants to talk about So yeah, I was a bit shocked when I actually saw um, Connell slash Paul Meskel's um, flaccid penis. To be fair, it was a breath of fresh air because the amount of times we see Marianne's boobs coming out, you know, it's very frequent. And I thought, bloomin' heck, we're not even really seeing much of um, Connell here. Not that I wanted to, but obviously it was just unequally weighted at that point um, what they were showing and then we do see Marianne's hairy Mary as well so then at that point I think the fact that you see both of their genitals um, it just I, it does add more realism you know and the fact that when you see their genitals it's not when they're like right in the middle of doing it or whatever it's like afterwards or before so it's not overly sexualizing the actors and the characters but it's just making it more realistic like you know when people have done the deed and then they stop and obviously they're not gonna have the clothes straight back on in all these TV programs I find it hilarious you know they just finish and like that they pull the clothes on everything's fine there's no cleanup process or nothing um, which is not realistic and I think it was really it showed their vulnerability as characters and as people so yeah it was a little bit of a shock but it was I think a positive thing I don't think it you might say it's unnecessary I don't think it was necessary but I also don't think it's unnecessary either um, yeah I think the actual everyone's talking in general about the sex it was obviously very natural it's very realistic I mean for the most part until the end they only do two sort of positions um, it showed that you know it's that actual that bond and that intimacy that's important so um, it didn't really matter what they were doing or how they were doing it you know because you just it's that romance and that equality in the relationship that was really nice to see I mean obviously everyone's into different things and that's fair enough but I just really liked um, that it was it was a big thing because there's like 10 sex scenes but also it wasn't a big thing like it wasn't made into a big deal between them in terms of or like you know banners and everything you know it was just plain and simple normal sex so I think that was good and it's just realistic obviously it comes in stark contrast to where Marianne is on her study abroad um, and I mean obviously some people are into things sexually like that but I just feel like for her it was a lot to do with her own issues of low self-worth and I think that kind of sexual activity just encouraged those feelings and almost 
just validated what she was feeling, continued her belief that she was worthless. And I'd say that that was really upsetting to watch. You know, when she's sitting on the floor and she's got her hands tied and she's looking up and she's topless, she couldn't be any more vulnerable. You see the emptiness in Marianne's eyes and just the self-loathing and the upset that she feels and you know it I'm sure people can relate to it I'm sure it's very relatable and yeah I think it just encourages though a positive and healthy relationship with sex I think porn and things has maybe changed people's perceptions around sex um, so there is an expectation to do certain things or act in certain ways when you're having sex um, but sometimes it doesn't have to be complicated and they just sh and I think it comes in stark contrast with their relationship which is really complicated and lots going on um, but when they're actually having sex that is the most uncomplicated part of their relationship um, so yeah I think that was really interesting way to look at it <laughs> First of all, Paul Mescal, so he was absolutely incredible. Previously to um, being in Normal People, he's only been in theatre, so this is his TV debut and it is incredible. I would say my favourite but also least favourite scene of the entire series is when Connell is talking to his counsellor and he is breaking down. Um, it is so emotional and heartbreaking and I think that through the whole series we are positioned um, to see everything from the perspective of Connell although it is about the relationship between both of them I feel like we learn a lot more about Connell we learn a lot more why he does the things that he does or why he feels the things he feels and we follow him more by himself whereas Marianne I think we we do obviously know a lot of the reason she acts and feels the way she does. Um, there's obviously things to do with her father and then her brother, who I'll go on to later. But I think that we are positioned more from Connell's point of view. So I do feel like we understand him better and where he's coming from. So even when he does some things we might not agree with, like in school, for example, we can understand more why he's doing it, even though we don't agree with it. And I think that scene with the counsellor just really emphasised everything we've seen through the show that has been in fragments and then it builds up to that moment and it is just, it's heartbreaking, you know, and I think the actor did amazing to show that vulnerability and it was realistic, it wasn't over the top or too dramatic, you know, and I found myself, I was just stuck on every word he was saying as much as I didn't want to hear it because it was really upsetting to see his pain and his sorrow. That's a brilliant, brilliant scene and I thought his acting overall was brilliant. Um, Daisy Edgar Jones, I also thought her acting was really, really good. She portrays a really complex character and I think because we're positioned from Connell's perspective more, she actually had a really hard job of showing us the things that Marianne's feeling and why she's feeling those things and why she's acting as she does because we do get less of a perspective from her. So, you know, the actress, for all the time that she is on scene and all the things that we do see her do she really has to try and show her show us through that even though we're not positioned entirely from her perspective so I thought that was really really good that she still manages for us to understand her well although I do think that you understand Connell more <laughs> characters Marianne um, at the start in the school when she first did that um, scene and she was shouting off to the teacher and things part of me was like ooh props like well done girl but then part of me was also a bit like whoa calm down because I was like really good in school so I was a bit like oh that's a little bit rude and that to your teacher some of the things she said to people in school you know it did portray that she does think highly of herself and things which we do then understand it's actually the opposite because she's really struggling with her self-worth and I think her intelligence is the only thing that she feels fully confident in but she comes off quite um, defensive she comes off unapproachable 
but I think the important thing to show is when she goes to college how she really grows into herself and she's friendly and she's lovely and she's got lots of friends I think it just shows that the reason she was acting the way she did in school was because she felt that nervousness she felt that lack of confidence she felt that people didn't like her um, she didn't know how to act maybe she was living up partially to their expectations um, she was more immature in school as well she seems so much older when we see her in college I thought like so much older um, so yeah I mean I really like the character of Marianne her growth as a character is really interesting and not only her growth I think she's been that same person all the time but it just shows the effect of influences in school and anywhere really that people can make you feel a certain way or like you have to act a certain way because they paint you in this picture um, and it's just interesting to see how in different scenarios and areas Marianne changes and flourishes but she is still that same person um, so yeah I thought her character development was really really interesting and on to Connell oh I loved him what a gem like I mean at the same time I didn't like him in the school parts either really and I felt obviously a lot more sorry for Marianne than him so as much as I thought she seemed quite defensive and standoffish I really felt for her I mean I wasn't popular in school at all I've never really been that person I've always come off a bit weird myself I think like especially in school um, so I can really understand where she was coming from to be honest but Connell I just wanted to shake him like so much in school when he's just not telling his friends like when they're at the Debs and his friend comes over and he's like oh hey like we think that you'll see a Marianne but it's fine if you are and he still doesn't tell him I'm just like ah oh, Connell like so it shows he's a bit immature in school as well it's realistic um for that time and I think that's why a lot of teens go through such heartbreak and things because you've got those feelings of love and lust but you haven't got that emotional intellect to deal with it properly so it's more likely that conflict and heartbreak is going to occur um and yeah Connell though he it just shows really well the struggles of school and the pressures that teenagers face the social pressures as much as he cares about her he's just so scared of how his friends and how everyone will react he feels he has to live up to this certain persona which already he doesn't really fit you know we see that although he's confident and popular he's not really like his other friends um so he's already masking part of who he is so i think he's done that for so long to open himself up and truly show himself for who he is and that he's with marianne it's just too difficult for him to do when they're in school i also love connell's reactions to things like i don't actually have any examples so this is going to be hard to explain but basically you know when like in films and tv shows you have an expectation of replies and things that characters will say it i find marianne does in some ways live up to the expectation I have of her character the way she speaks and things but Connell like someone will ask him something or say something to him and his replies would always shock me um, he just would change and evolve in front of my eyes more than I even thought um, like he would just be so honest in his replies and I really like that and he wouldn't say the cliche things or the cheesy things or the stereotypical things for that you'd assume with his character um like I'd be taken aback so many times the things he'd say and I loved how honest he was with Marianne for the most part um yeah that was really cool one thing though that I hated with Connell's character okay this is one of the things that I hate okay and it's about Connell um, basically he's supposed to be so smart you know we hear from the very beginning he's done well in English he does well in uni he gets a scholarship then he's going to New York 
and I just don't feel like he comes across as smart, he comes across as lovely, but even when there's a scene when he's um, analysing a book that he've read in university, I didn't think his answer was very inspiring at all, and like we never really see him write it, we never really see his passion for it, like I know maybe he'd want to hide it in front of people because he's embarrassed, but when he's on his own you just don't see that passion, so I think that element of his character just wasn't shown well and it was just flawed like either it shouldn't have been part of his character although how you get that awful ending I don't know then but I just think I don't know he just didn't come across as smart and he didn't come across as having a passion for English and writing but it really wanted us to believe he did I think as well it really shows well that the characters don't fit into a stereotype because even though Connell gets on with his friends at school he doesn't fully connect with them um, and I think when he goes to university he feels like oh I'm gonna be around people who are more academically orientated and things like that and he thinks that he's finally he's really gonna find his group but he struggles a lot to get on with people in university so I think it shows that it isn't that simple you can't put people into a stereotype say of popular people and nerds or whatever you can't do that because it just doesn't work um, in the real world and there's a lot more that comes into play when it comes to making friends and things than just you know these small parts of your personality because people are a lot more complicated and complex than that. I think as well basically they swap places so in school Marianne's obviously on her own doesn't really have friends she goes to uni and finds herself and for Connell who's been confident and self-assured in school he goes to university and he suddenly on his own and really down um, so that's kind of interesting that they swap places well it's really interesting in university Connell isn't looking on Facebook for Marianne he isn't phoning Marianne he isn't knocking on doors but he consciously to a point and then subconsciously that we see he is looking for her it's it's almost shows without being over the top it shows that he's thinking about her all the while wherever he goes he's not overly like he's not actually acting upon it to physically look for her but everywhere he goes it's like it's in his head maybe she'll be here like maybe she'll just appear because he wants her to but he doesn't act upon it and I think that's interesting it's realistic a lot of people I think do that um, and yeah people might not even always realize they're not over someone or that they want someone to be there and people don't always take actions so he sort of thinks if she appears she appears but I'm not gonna actively just go and find her and you know that's where problems lie so obviously this whole show as well is about miscommunication Ugh, it got on my nerves so much it's obviously realistic but I was screaming at the TV so much like why don't you guys just talk I mean if they didn't talk there'd be no TV series so it's got to be a lot there's got to be a lot of miscommunication going on but it just frustrated me so much um I mean they really hit home didn't they that miscommunication and bad communication is what causes relationships not to work and to just completely be destroyed um yeah it really annoyed me as well it annoyed me because it's supposed to be like oh this most romantic love story ever but i feel like over and over as much as we're angled to believe they're so madly in love they all the time choose other things over each other so connell chooses his school friends over her she chooses to go on a gap year she chooses to stay with gareth he chooses to get with helen do you know what i mean obviously it shows that things do get in the way in life and life's complicated but i think it does portray sort of a bad message to people because certain things that were going on in their relationship if I was a friend I'd have said you know you need to just call it quits you need to stop seeing him um because it's causing a lot of emotional upset and you know distress um between them all the time the things going on it's not really a healthy relationship for the majority of the time and although they do make each other really happy they also make each other really sad and I feel like if their love really was that strong that they 
would have put each other first you know at the end they've just got together and connell's like bye i'm going off to new york and i'm like excuse me what are you doing like you've been through all this and for what like surely if she makes you happier than anyone else and you're already on a scholarship in dublin even though i don't know that you're that smart anyway but why are you going to new york and why are you leaving her do you know what i mean like they've already split up she's been abroad once before and they both hated it um and i just don't understand that were made to be were pushed to think that they're so madly in love and that the relationship is the most important thing and it is to us as an audience but i think for them it's not always the most important thing because they put other things ahead of the relationship and that is one of the things that i hate about it um, as i say as a friend i'd have said it's not working you need to find someone else because a lot of what goes on isn't very positive between them so are they really meant to be together I don't know and I just feel like toxicity is romanticized in it to be honest um, and that again is just something that puts me off and I feel like it gets to a point where they're so used to longing for each other when they're apart that almost they feel closer and they feel those emotions more intensely when they're apart and when they have those feelings of longing so when they come together it's always short-lived because it's almost like they prefer that feeling of longing they prefer the intensity of the emotion with missing each other more than they enjoy the feelings of being together and that's just my opinion but you know i just feel like if if they were that much in love and it was that a healthier relationship love as they say should just conquer all there shouldn't be all these barriers between them um to stop them you know there's no war going on there's no pandemic there's nothing like that there's all these things that we all relate to in life but we should be able to overcome if we want to have that relationship talk as well about Lorraine like she's amazing that's Connell's mum and I think parents a lot of the time have a habit of even if their child's in the wrong they don't like to admit it because their child which is fair enough but I think Lorraine really just is a brilliant parent because she obviously loves and cares about Connell beyond belief but she doesn't just side with him for the sake of it if she doesn't agree with something she tells him because she wants him to grow into a good person and to do the right thing and you know the way she sticks up for Marianne and takes her under her wing um, is really endearing and it's really nice and yeah it just shows what a good example Lorraine is to Connell which in contrast obviously there is comments on class because Connell is has a happy home life even though it's just him and his mum and his mum doesn't really have much money and Marianne is in a mansion as they say I mean just look like a kind of nice house to me but um, she's in her big house, you know, ivory towers, as they say, with her mum and her brother. And there is no positive or strong um, familial bond or relationship between her and her mum. And that her mum frustrates me, but it also breaks my heart for her because um, I think it all stems from the abuse she had from the father and when she doesn't stick up for Marianne when her brother's doing all of these things to her um, it's because of just fear of him you know I don't think she doesn't love Marianne but she just can't bring herself to stand up to the brother she doesn't feel strong enough and I think she probably feels that he is better than her and Marianne she's got these really negative connotations around sex um like as in gender um and roles and things and yeah it's just really upsetting the brother um i don't really think i like that when connell came in he was so scared and everything because it does make you understand why he's acting with marianne the way he is because obviously he really is actually unconfident and he gets kicks from trying to put her down and make himself feel better because he's actually a massive scaredy cat and he's a bit of a loser but it just really frustrated me in a way that it sort of undermines marianne and the mum's character so much because i know obviously this happens and 
there is he obviously feels powerful over women but the way that he felt so powerless against Connell just because he was a man I just felt was quite belittling to Marianne and her mum as characters because Marianne is a really strong character throughout the whole thing and I even feel like with her brother she doesn't massively retaliate against him but she's never weak against him she never cowers away from him and she stands her ground as much as she can I just don't feel like that was necessary or appropriate really I don't know I just don't think it added anything to the story um, and also I think it came at a really weird time that Marianne and Connell have that really awkward sex scene um, that's really upsetting as well because um, you know it shows with Marianne that it's quite confusing I think she's learned to like that kind of sexual experience that um, makes her feel worthless but also she doesn't like it because it makes her feel more worthless and she's embarrassed that she likes something that makes her feel bad I think um, but yeah the fact that just after that it's all that with a brother and then it's like oh everything's hunky-dory back to normal I don't know I just feel like it's really weird timing and just not necessary and I don't feel like that should be I don't feel like that should have been the thing that got them cemented together him standing up for her against the brother I don't feel like that would have been the thing to make them you know close that bond even further together and have them together at the end because of that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this review I know I've gone on for a really really long time and I think everything I've said is a bit jumbled and all over the place I have put everything in like categories but I've just ended up blurring everything and talking about whatever just that comes into my head so but yeah thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed this review then please let me know in the comments because I will put more reviews of TV shows films and books and things if that's what people would like to see um, and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon